Good. You're just as bad as me. Good morning, guys. Welcome to another episode of Fisherman's Office. Now today, I'm being as lazy as possible. I'm finding the closest bits of water I can today to see if I can uh, get a fish out of them. Now, a source tells me that this local lake, dam, whatever you want to call it, pond if you're in America, um, uh, he tells me that there is redfin in here and he's caught it before, so um, I'm happy to go and have a crack as well. And um, we'll see how that goes. If it turns out to be a flop, then, well, I don't know. I'll try a creek or something that's uh, close by as well and uh, see if I can't get anything out of there. So that's pretty much it. Hopefully you enjoy the video. Let's crack in. Yeah, took a little while on there. That's definitely a redfin. Yeah, beauty. Nice little local redfin. Can't really say 100% local, but they are in here. Thanks for the hot tip, Mr. Sauce. Beauty. Not a bad little one. That was on the uh, Z-Man Slim Swim. It's got one, 132 ounce G head. Just bobbing around, sort of medium to slow speed. Walk around the other side. Go past the dumped pram here, which is a bit random and sort of creepy. Ew. Touched him on the tail and he shat himself. <laughs> He's gonna be hard if I foul hook him. Oh, I did foul hook him. <laughs> Is there any suburban dam that doesn't have a push bike in it? You wouldn't want to be trodden through here if you're scared of snakes, that's for sure. Holy crap, what is that? It's a fox. Oh my god. There's a fox in here with me. What the deuce. Just talking about snakes and a freaking fox jumps out two feet in front of me. Ah. Oh. Dickhead. Oh, yes. <laughs> That's actually not a bad fish either. That's a good red fin. It's probably my best red fin for ages. On the lipless crank. And he choked it. Absolutely choked it. I'm going to get him landed. Straight down the gurgler. Yeah, mate. How about you? Not bad. Is that a red fin? Yep. Kidney? Nah, there's, a, there's about 52 and a half foot long carp in here as well. Yeah. Yeah. No. I thought Now, are you going to give me this back, dude, or are you going to. God, he absolutely killed this thing. There we go, got him. Now I left my bloody phone over there. That's a good redfin, that. Good size redfin. There you go. Yep, 
I'll keep coming back here to catch these if they're this size. Bloody eighth. Probably a bit tight. Off you go, buddy. Uh, two red fin. Red fin there. Who, who, who's the fishing? Uh, I've no idea. Um, just a recommendation from a mate to come out and have a crack. So, yeah, yeah. I've got a YouTube channel, so I'm just like doing a suburban oh, one. So, yeah, yeah. So I was about just down in the shallow area. There. There's probably about five or six big carp. Yeah. And um, I foul hooked one of those before. <laughs> that was pretty funny, but uh, yeah, got a little red fin in the corner over here before. This is just a little basin, isn't it? Yeah, it's literally just a little pondish yeah. sort of thing. There's yeah. nothing really what else here. Retarding basin. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, that's probably what it is. Yeah, exactly. They've got a drain into here, and then yeah, people might have released them in here. We never know. But uh, and the eggs yeah. can actually um, the eggs can. But come, please they, right. Yeah, the eggs can actually survive in there in the mud for a long period. Of time. Oh, so carp. Yeah. Uh, get in oh, that's gross. I have to tell. Oh, I won't tell everyone. <laughs> that's that's what's right. Your YouTube channel. Uh, Fisherman's Office. Fisherman's Office. Yeah. Right. So I've just I started up uh, in February. Yep. Uh, I've got about seventy subscribers now. Yep. Um, yeah, I'm on Instagram as well, and uh, with another few blokes. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's really fun. So yeah, we've keeps me out of trouble for the uh, weekends. That's for sure. Oh yeah, we live <laughs> yeah. up on the Goulburn, so we fish out of the Goulburn. Oh yeah, okay, hitting the trout as well. Yeah. Yeah, trout uh, up where we are. Um, yeah, we're just on the border of where the trout come to, but we get a lot of cod. Um, yeah, okay. I've only been getting small stuff. Yeah, okay. Um, yeah, I've caught some cod though. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, cheese a lot of the time I use. Yeah, you know, okay. It's not good for them, but um, yeah, we hook up straight. We're using live yabbies, but if we throw the cheese on there, it's end up Yeah, okay. Pretty quick. Yeah. Fair enough. It's, um, yeah, I haven't caught a cod yet. I hooked on a one probably about a month ago. Yeah. Um, but I haven't, I've just bought some new tackle and stuff, so um, yeah, trying to. Um, Trying to get some time to get out on and spend some time on the river. I need, yeah. need to spend some time trying to get cod. So, um, yeah, hopefully I'll get up to Mulwala in a couple of weeks and see how we go. And yeah, well, enjoy the uh, enjoy the rest of your walk, guys. Yeah. And along this fallen tree branch here, I reckon it'll be dynamo. They were sitting here. And just as I've hyped it up and talked up that particular particular bit, it is uh, produced nothing. <laughs> There's a shopping trolley here. <laughs> Couple of doggies. Where'd you guys get out from? Hmm? There we go, I'm on. I was not even paying attention then. <laughs> oh, that's three readies in a space of about an hour. It's not a very big one, but I got him. I was not paying attention at all. Colour pole of Pohotos, and uh, I'll send him off on his way. Beautiful. I was too busy talking to the dogs, and uh, hooked up onto another one. <laughs> that was funny. Radio right, guys, that's it for this video. Really enjoyed the results of it. Obviously, three red fins, never a bad thing. Um, also, plenty of carp in here, which I'll come back and have a crack at later with some corn. Maybe bring my wife down, because we're only five, ten, not even ten minutes from my house. So, really, really good. Um, great to find a local spot that I can just, you know, create some content and, you know, if I'm bored or something, come down and, and enjoy it. So, um, really, really good. Um, so, thanks to my source. He knows who he is uh, for letting me know uh where to find this place um i'll be definitely back now uh, i'm wishing you all the happiest of easters a little bit late obviously because i've released my videos on wednesday i'm hoping you had a really safe weekend um and uh, caught plenty of fish um don't forget to comment like share and subscribe of course and we'll see you in the next video just keep flicking